Hello, my name is Adam Inbar from CA Systems. In this video, I will explain about NETD of infrared cameras. First, a few words about some of our building blocks. CA has gained experience in designing and manufacturing automated electro-optical testers. Our testers consist of radiation sources from the visible to the long wave infrared, cool emitters, target wheels, targets, and other equipment for performing thermal camera testing or FLIR testing, SWIR camera testing, CCD, sometimes also referred to as visible testing or day TV testing, detector testings of all kinds, multi-sensor or channel testing. All of these integrated with our automated testing software. I will explain what is NETD, what equipment is needed, and how to perform NETD test. What is NETD? NETD stands for Noise Equivalent Temperature Difference. It is the measurement of the smallest temperature difference that a thermal camera can detect in the presence of electronic noise. The practical point of view, the NETD is the minimum signal that can be recognized by the system, or where the SNR equals to 1. In the image, there are two tanks. The first tank thermal signature is just above the NETD and is visible to the thermal camera. The second tank is just below the NETD. Even though there are an outline, notice that the second tank and the background noise are at the same gray level. The equation defines the method of calculating the NETD of the thermal camera. VRMS equals the measured RMS of the temporal random noise expressed in volts or gray levels. Delta V system equals the average measured signal expressed in volts or gray levels. Delta is the temperature set by the black body, usually set to 2 or 3 degrees. It has to be within the linear segments of the dynamic range of the camera measured by the SITF test. It is important to perform the test under controlled conditions. To run the NTD, you need, first, an infrared radiation source, better known as black body. Second, a square target. Third, a collimator. Fourth, computer with frame grabber. And fifth, software for performing the NTD test. When selecting a black body for an ETD, you need to consider 1. The black body's accuracy and stability. Since the test is often performed with millikelvin resolution, it is important to use an accurate black body and also verify that it is certified as NIST traceable. NIST stands for the National Institute of Standards. 2. The size of the black body is also important. When selecting a black body, try to remember that it can also be used for other tests like uniformity. Select a black body with a big enough area surface to perform this test also. 3. A differential black body is required for the NETD measurement. Since the MRTD is run by testing the temperature of the black bodies relative to the temperature of the target, the black body controller constantly monitors the target's temperature. To perform an NETD test, a square target commonly used. With a large enough area to place the region of interest, ROI, both for the background and the signal. First, let me explain what is a collimator. A collimator is an optical device that simulates images placed on the focal plane to the distance of infinity. Another way of explaining is that a collimator is an optical system that projects images focused at infinity. When selecting a collimator, 1. The collimator should be diffraction limited, not to degrade the quality. 2. As a rule of thumb, the focal length of the collimator should be at least three times longer than the focal length of the camera. 3. The spectral band must be compatible with the camera. For example, at CI we use the mirror-based collimators with a spectral band of 0.4 to 14.6 microns. And lastly, Performing MRTD test is not limited to the lab. It can also be done in the field using a ruggedized collimator black body system. Since the NETD is an automated test and therefore an objective test, unlike MRTD, a computer with frame grabber and software is required. A frame grabber is needed to capture several frames from the thermal camera and software to extract from the video the parameters needed to calculate the NETD and to compare to the measurement results to a pass-fail criteria. To calculate the delta V, we measure the signal from the ROI marked as background and subtract it from the signal generated from the ROI marked as signal. VRMS is measured as the ROI marked signal. 
The actual calculation is done by an automatic test software capturing multiple frames from the thermal camera video, output and measured the delta V and the VRMS of the signal. Thanks for viewing my short video about NETD testing. Contact us to learn how all of these tests can be combined into a single optical test bench. For more information or other videos, go to www.ci-systems.com. Thanks.